Good morning everyone. I hope you are well and good right now. I am Nikki Vanessa Mishuting. Welcome to our class, Media Information Literacy, Second Quarter, Week 3. Today, we will be discussing about the text, media, and information. Let's read first the overview of the module. Text media are either printed or digital text material that are published for the purpose in communicating information to an audience. Considering the many indigenous, ethnic, tribal, and people groups in the Philippines, not to mention the other languages such as Jejumon, Konya, Tagrash, etc., make written communication challenging. Text media and information provides paste to make a dissemination more accurate and more efficient and much faster to keep up with the trend. Text media and information is also important in data gathering and for serving documenti documenting written oral works and language translations. Text media and information lowers the risk of error since the material can be reviewed before release. We have here the learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to number one, identify the basic elements in creating text-based presentation, evaluate the text-based presentation through the design principles and elements. Definition, characteristic, formats and types and selection criteria. What is text? Text is a simple and flexible format of presenting information or conveying ideas whether handwritten, printed, or displayed on screen. Letter A. Text is a very powerful as well in disseminating information, providing directions, and giving suggestions. Text is available in different sources, whether it is formal, news articles, published books, newspapers, magazines, advertisements, research works, and etc. Or informal, blogs, personal emails, SMS or text messages, online messengers, social media platforms, and etc. We have here the formal text. Based materials are created and distributed by established institutions such as publishing companies, new agencies, and etc. and go through a re recurious process of editing or evaluations are usually governed by censorship of the state. Informal text Based materials, on the other hand, come from personal opinions or viewed in different issues processes and etc. Text can be a source such as a single sen sentence or phrase or they can be a lengthy, lengthy a, new, a news article or investigate reporting. No matter how brief or lengthy, however, a text is always carefully written with intent of sending a very a specific message to the target audience. Letter D. In our exposures to tax media and information, we can either be a consumer or a producer of content. As a consumer, these are the questions that you need to ask with regards to the content of tax media and information. Who are, who or what institution is sending this message? Number two, what techniques are used to attract and hold attention? And then, what is the language used by the writer? 
in general. Part 1. What views are represented? Are they balanced? Then, how might the message be interpreted in different ways? And then, what is omitted, slurred or added in the message? So, those are the questions. Letter E. As app users of text, media, and information, we need to review the media and information design framework, target audience, author, and or standard, key content, purpose, form, style, and format. And then now let's proceed to text as visual. Letter A. Typeface, also called font, font type, or type, refers to the presentation or style of a text in digital format. Letter B. A typeface is usually comp comprised of alphabets, numbers, punctuation marks, symbols, and other char characters. When fonts are installed in the computer, they usually came or come in file formats such as true type font, open type font, etc. Let us see. In the absence of image or drawings, text is the easy way, easiest way of communicating to your audience. The use of various types or the various font types can express different emotions or meaning. So we have here the types of typefaces. We have the serif, sans serif, slab serif, script, and decorative. Serif is a connotes formality and readability in large amount of text. This font is usually used for body text of books, newspapers, magazines, or research publications. Also, serif fonts give a classical elegant look when used for title or healing. Examples, Times New Roman, Garamond, or Barks Baskerville. And then sans serif. Sans serif brings a clean or minimalist look to the text. This font is used for clear and directions, direct, direct meaning of text, such as road signage, building directory, or notices pack, Nutrition facts and foods packages. Also, sensory fonts give a modern looks and he is primarily in web page design. So, we have also the examples. And then the next one slab serifs. Slab serif carries a solid or heavy lock to text. This font can be used for large adver advertising sign in billboards. Examples, we have direct well, label, and black off. And then script. Script draws much attention to itself because it brush like strokes. This must be used sparingly and not to be used in large body text. This font is usually used in wedding invitation cards or other formal events. We have also the examples. And then we have the last decorative. Display or decorative caters to a wide variety of emotions such as celebrations, fair, horror, and etc. Or themes such as cowboys, circus, holidays, summers, and caddy, and etc. We have also the examples. So, design principles and elements. The principles in design text elements are emphasizes or emphasis, appropriateness, proximity, alignment, organization, repetition, and contrast. Number one, emphasis. It refers to the importance or value given to a part of text-based content. When trying to make a point or highlighting a message, you can make a bold text, italicize. Have a heavier weight, dark tanned or light tanned, depending on your background color or enlarge. Number two, appropriateness. It refers to how fitting 
or suitable the text is used for a specific audience, purpose, or events. In the creation of text-based content, make sure that the selection criteria, the tone, style, purpose, clarity is followed. As for the choice of typist to be used, refer it to the, to the discussion of characteristic of the fonts. When it comes to large body text, the font should be clear enough to read. Okay? And the number three, proximity. It refers to how near or how far the text elements from each other. When two things are closely related, be or we bring them close together. Otherwise, we put things elements from each other. For example, the main title and subtitle are usually placed too close to each other. Number four, alignment refers to how the text is positioned in the page. This can be left, right, centered, or justified. And then we have also the organizations. Refers to a conscious effort to organize and different text elements in the page. Organizations ensures wha that while some text elements are separated from each other based on the principles of proximity, they are still somehow connected with the rest of elements in the page. When there are many elements needed to fit in a page, start by creating a framework or compartment for the elements. Divide the space by creating lines across the page, making it look like a cabinet with various spaces size. And then, once you are done compartmentalizing, you can place the different text elements of the box. Okay, now let's proceed to repetition. The use of repeating some typeface within the page with several typeface or are used on a page. It might distract the audience and fail to communicate what you want them to get from the content. To strike a balance, do not also use just a single typeface for a visual design project. And then, we have the last one, we have the contrast. Creates visual interest to text elements. Contrast is achieved when two elements are different from each other. When you place a text on a very light yellow background, contrast is not achieved and the text will be difficult to read. But when you put a, text, a white text on a dark brown background, Contrast is created. Contrast can be achieved in a various ways by joining the following elements large font with small fonts, serif and sans serif, thin elements with the thin elements, cool color and warm color. Okay, that's all. Any questions, clarifications, additions? Mm, if you don't have any questions, please open your learning path at www.getsf.com to answer your activity and quiz. Thank you and God bless.